there's always a blessing in every situation, right? Yeah, I believe so. It's just our perception, how we see things. My name is Connie Rose, Voice for Spirit, and I'm bringing you Spirit's messages today. Thank you for tuning in. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you haven't, let's see if these messages resonate with you. They're general reading, so take what resonates and stay to the end for an opportunity to win a one-on-one -on -one reading with me for the month of September. So let's get started, see what Spirit wants to share with us and what blessings are coming for you. Let's get started. Okay, blessings number one. You know what? I feel so much relief in this. I feel like I'm just like, oh my God, about time. The feeling I get with this reading is that you have been waiting so long, so long to feel this way. And I can feel that it's coming to you very, very quickly, very, very swiftly. And time's speeding up here. So if it's something, again, general reading, take what resonates. But I feel as though you've been waiting a long time. I feel like there's a three. So three months, three years, three decades. But mainly three years. That's what I'm really feeling. It's, it's at least a couple of years been, you've been waiting, you've been manifesting, you've been creating. This could be for a partner coming your way. This could be for a job. It could be for retirement. It could be for um, an investment to pay off. But whatever it is, it feels like a long time coming. So it's not something that just comes out of the woodwork. But, but in saying that, it could very well feel that way. It's like, whoa, where did this come from? But if you feel into it, you actually ordered this. You put it out to the universe that this is what you wanted many moons ago. So for an example, I am presenting a workshop, Dancing with Spirit, at the upcoming Seven Sisters Festival in November. Now, usually I have a stall. I usually have one-on-one -on -one readings and healings and I work flat out the entire festival. And this is, and I've applied to present at this festival multiple times, but never been accepted, but I've always worked there. This time I was accepted to work, as in present, but I didn't get a stall because they wanted to mix it up and I've been there like seven years in a row, so they wanted to give it to other people. At first I was a little bit disappointed, but then I realised, hang on a minute, I asked for this. I, about three years ago, said, I just want to present and I want to enjoy the festival. I don't want to have to work the entire time. So that is what Spirit's giving me, an example of mine just to share with you, but for you to get what you need out of that message because what's happening now is something that's been ordered by you within about three years ago. That makes sense. Oh, wow. Thank you, Spirit, because I ordered mine three years ago. How's this? You can't make this shit up. So whatever you've put out into the universe about three years ago, it is coming and it's coming in thick and fast for you. So it might feel like it's come out of nowhere, but everything has been happening in momentum and the right time, divine timing, because now you're ready to receive. And this is another way of, you know, it's another example. So be careful what you wish for. And, but this is a beautiful thing. This is something you've put out there. Ah, oh, puppy dog for some of you too. I see a little puppy dog breeding. So a small percentage of you will be breeding dogs. We're coming into spring here in the Southern Hemisphere. So that would be uh, even uh, foals, foals, horses. There's, there's new life here with animals too. So take what resonates. Let's get some cards and get more information. This is just oh, a big relief. Oh my God, about time. All right, I'm going to get this one. Healer of the ages. I'm going to get two and all tied up. Now, this is you. It, I really feel like this is something that you've put out there and forgotten that you asked for. And that's, that's what feels right. Um, so if you look at the healer of the ages card, it feels like, oh, okay. Hmm. Now, remember when I said be careful what you wished for. I feel as though these were my words. 
as in in your energy. These were your words. You've put it out there that this is what you want. <laughs> now, some of you feel as though, no, this is not exactly what I asked for, but you, it really is. It is exactly what you asked for. I had to pause there for maybe one of you. It's exactly what you've asked for. You, my darling, are someone that carries other people. It's something that's in your ancestral line. You're someone who likes to lift those around you. And it's a beautiful trait, beautiful trait. I can't ignore this card though, right? All tied up. It looks as though what's coming to you now definitely could have been here by now. But there were some ancestral ties that had to be addressed for you to be able to receive this. It's quite deep, this reading, all of a sudden, isn't it? It's about time. It's a relief. And it feels as though you're going to receive something that almost your grandparents should have received. What an interesting thing to say, Spirit. It's like you're about to receive something that it's like the how I'm feeling it. It's like the ball started rolling from your ancestors. Ball started rolling from your ancestors. So I'm going to give you a, an example, which will apply to some of you, but not all of you. But take the theme of this example. You may very well be in a relationship that's no longer serving you. And you're finally breaking the chains to step out of that relationship, knowing that there may be family shame. When you look back at your grandparents, they stayed in a relationship purely because they were scared what other people would say or think. So in that relationship, they suffered quietly because they preferred to do that rather than suffer outwardly. Now, take what resonates. This is just what Spirit's giving me because it feels like a bit of a theme. And it's not saying you're going to leave a relationship, so to speak, but it can be parts of you that you're leaving. Now, this is a blessing in disguise. It is a relief. It is about time. It's almost like you're breaking the shackles of something that wasn't yours. You just signed up to it as if that's the way we do it in our family. That's the way we do it in this world. That's the way I do it in this life. And Spirit's coming to show you, bang, you're no longer all tied up. Your belief system's changing. You're realising that it's okay for you to do things differently against the grain. And it certainly feels like something outside of tradition. But Spirit wants to come in here to share with you that you're fully supported because this is a massive blessing. And the people around you may not see it yet, but everybody around you, and <laughs> this is something that is not a very nice way to say it, but opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. If you sit back and wait to get approval from other people before you make the moves, you will not make the moves. And so Spirit's coming in to give you a nice little shift to be able to say, you know what, I've been waiting for this for a very long time. I put it out there at least three years ago and it's time to receive. I'm going to get out of my way and I'm going to receive and I'm going to do it for all of those who came before me. And as a beautiful byproduct, you're doing it for all of those who come after you as well. You get what I'm saying? two cards here they both came out <laughs> find the blessing in your current situation this is the blessing that's coming but you're in that find the blessing in your current situation i always say to people like you know if you're hanging out for a house a brand new house you want big property you want all the things and you just want to get out of your house now you have had enough you want to move the thing is, if you're trying to push that house away, how are you going to get something bigger and better? So what you do is you embrace your current situation. You realise your lessons. You realise the blessings. 
And when you live in that space of gratitude, you're going to bring in more. So you'll get that house, for example, quicker. Hmm. And I can't get over the fact that she's playing her own fiddle. She's calling the shots now. She's not being told what to do. And this doesn't have to be relationships. This can be, well, it is relationships, but it can be relationships with a boss. It can be relationships with an old part of yourself. It can be a relationship with a past loved one. Some of us keep doing things for the past loved one. This is another layer of grief in a way. And it's like, I've got to do this because my dad did that. It's like, yeah, but you're not your dad. Why do you have to do it? Because they did it. You don't have to be a certain way just to feel connected with someone who's passed. If it doesn't resonate with you. And I feel as though when you're doing things for external reasons, it won't feel as though you'll be cutting your ties as neatly as possible in this situation. And the other card that jumped out was right. Right! Start telling your story, sweetie. And it doesn't have to be shared, okay? Of course you can share it. We all want to know it. But pop it down on paper. We're still in the very big energy of the Pisces lunar eclipse. It's still dragging a little bit. But see, when we get such an intense energy and it wanes off, we can feel that way. We can just go, ooh, and then lose our energy as well. We wane with the moon, and that's okay too. Write, 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 write everything that this reading is bringing up for you because your theme here is spirits with you. Spirits helping you see the blessings in your current situation. But what is coming up for you is something you put out many years ago. It's something that almost the ball started rolling with your ancestors, grandparents, 100%, at least grandparents. And now it's time just to receive graciously, seeing all the blessings in your current situation to bring in more. But this is a relief. This is like, thank God. My angels heard me, and they did. And they're here to support you through the next part. That, my darling, is your reading for number one. Don't forget to stay to the end to win a one-on-one -on -one reading with me. And, of course, like, share, subscribe, and all those YouTube things. That is your reading. Mwah. All right, number two. Oh, the overflowing treasure chest. Wow. I need a minute with this. The energy's just really shifted from, from number one. It's like I knew what I was channeling and all of a sudden it just blocked me and I had to stop and reconvene. I almost need to change in my chair. So there's something that's coming that's a real shift of focus for you. It's something that catches you off guard. It's something that you haven't prepared for, yet you have prepped for. In saying that, you didn't expect this to happen, but you are very much capable. And it feels like a big change in direction for you. You thought this was going to happen, but this is happening. And right now, Spirit's coming in to say this is exciting. And all of you that like spreadsheets and, and scheduling and planning, it feels as though you can just throw them in the bin for the next month to six weeks. Otherwise, you're going to feel like you're getting it wrong. But the universe is lining it up for a lot of abundance here for you, darling. A lot. I feel like there's more money coming in, more relationships coming in, more love coming in, more abundance coming in. All these things are coming in now because it was like you were on a tra trajectory that way, but the universe has given you a curveball and all of a sudden you're going that way. And this way is like the riches. Riches, it's like a gold path that you're following here. Um, let's get some cards because this pivot 
this shift, this change in direction was not expected. But when you see that this is an absolute blessing, and for some of you it will actually be a blessing in disguise, you'll get it very quickly. It's like all of a sudden someone's given you um, beans and you're not sure what to do. You just think they're just crappy beans. But when you plant it, there's a beanstalk. Like there's growth in in this situation. All right, let's get let's get a couple of cards here. Ah, oh, community, community. This one represents the three of cups, and then we've got anxiety. Interesting. So this will bring new meetings. This will bring new direction. This will bring um, people together. Now, because it's not so much on your terms. Um, the universe has got you. There's a lot of trust that needs to be here for the next four to six weeks. It's trust, it's surrender, it's losing the control to a degree and that's something that you're not comfortable with. It's not something that suits you. <laughs> but trust is, if you went for number two, this is fully your message from spirit to just flow a little bit more, breathe deeper, slow down a little, hydrate, lots of water because there's a lot of flow of energy that's flowing through you and you want to move and shift that energy. And just like when I give a healing to someone, uh, we know that energy moves through you and there can be a detox. So when the love goes through you and the light goes through you, the darkness needs to come up and out. So there can be a detox effect. So be mindful over the next few weeks to stay well rested and hydrated because the detox can be very real. So that can be emotions coming up. That can be past memories coming up. That can be old people from your past coming up and all these type of things. But remember that you have changed, grown, developed and all those things. So you're not the same person back there. You're here now. So everything that's coming up might feel familiar, but you're not familiar because you're new, you're vibrant, you're refreshed, you're replenished, all these things. So things you're not going to handle things the same as you used to. So it's going to be quite out of your comfort zone. But it's definitely a blessing because... When you shift, everything shifts. And like Dr. Joe Dispenza says, to change your reality, you need to change your personality. So within all these shifts and changes, you're going to find that you're only going to build resilience, build independence, build all these beautiful traits that are already within you, but they're going to awaken to new levels. It's like an expansion of who you already are. And you will be drawing in the right people. Don't be surprised, drop the card, don't be surprised if the people that are coming in, you feel a little bit, mm -hmm, don't know if they're the right ones, get out of the way and just flow. People will come and go as they need to. Don't try to hold too tight and don't try to push people away because your energy will be enough. You don't have to do anything here just for the next four to six weeks because you're just moving through this phase. Okay, so the anxiety can be there, can be present, but it's when you try to control the outcome, control other people's behaviours, that's where the anxiety can really surface and be quite loud. But again, it's just an energy. It's just an energy. So feel into what it is that you're being anxious about. Is it that you feel out of control? Is it that you don't know what to expect? Is it that you don't like what other people are doing? Is it that you don't like any about anything to do with this reading right now? <laughs> but let yourself. Just let yourself because it's not something that's going to break you. It's just not. It's absolutely the opposite. It's something that's building you into the next phase of your life. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are having you know, um, a really significant celebration this year for your birthday, whether you're, you know, 50 or 60 or 21. One of those real um, different birthdays. And even if you're a parent, um, you know, it's that real reinventing of who you are. Your kids have got to that next age level, so then you've got to become a, a, a new and improved parent. Like, you know, you might be 
in a situation where you're going into a uh, relationship with someone else that's got children and you're bringing in other dynamics into your household or into your world so you've got to work out where you fit you don't want to step on people's toes like there's a lot of um, shifting going on here it's really brand new like in six weeks time it feels as though you're going to be from here to here and it wasn't what was planned but it's definitely what the universe is bringing you because you're fully capable and um it's definitely going to fill your heart with more love than you can realize right here right now let's get some more cards energy healing and mate mate <laughs> it's like um i couldn't have used that energy um example any better right spirit always knows what's going on so energy is real energy flows when it gets stuck we get stagnant we get headaches we get aches and pains we get frustrations and all that so make sure you keep your energy flowing definitely so instead of focusing on controlling everybody else focus on yourself about um, what it is that you need to um need to move in yourself so reiki is a beautiful energy here it's gorgeous. Um, breath work is beautiful. Just soaking in the water, having a salt bath, having, you know, uh, those magnesium ponds even. Uh, one of my beautiful friends was telling me she went and had one of those the other day, and I was like, yes, I've had one. Um, and if you haven't already, it's just where the water is so dense with the salt that your body has no choice but to float, um, and you don't have to, you know, use your core muscles or anything. You're just surrendering and being held. And that's the type of feeling I get with this energy healing. So whatever you do, it's it's time for you just to feel held so you don't have to use any muscles for yourself. Um, and it's a very big part of you transitioning between now and then, okay? <sighs> okay, and let's get one more card for you. And it is... It's not where you usually sit in the next few weeks. You're usually guiding everybody, telling them what to do and making sure everything gets done to the, you know, dotting the I's, crossing the T's and directing almost. Now, we have two ears and one mouth for a reason. We can definitely tell everybody what to do, when to do it, give them the direction. But this one is really stepping back and being the student. You're usually the teacher, but in this energy, I want to flip the switch and I want to sit back and watch how it all plays out. I'm going to be listening twice as much as directing. But know that within yourself, you are very well aware of how you want to feel. Because right now, the blessing is change for you. The blessing is flipping the switch from being in control to being on the ride of life allowing the chips to fall where they may and really observing what's going on around you and how it makes you feel and when you feel the feels let yourself and just sit in it rather than try to push them down or push them away because it's something that you you you, you can be at times quite controlling quite at sometimes you know for a small percentage of you a little bit of a dictator well, I feel like I'm reading myself right now. <laughs> but, um, you know, we, we like to make sure things go a certain way. Well, it, it's like the blessing for you coming up right now is the freedom of going on a ride. So the next four to six weeks, darling, buckle up and let yourself just go on a beautiful ride of life because the Spirit's got you. And if you went for number two, that is definitely your reading today. Again, general reading, take what resonates, but I can feel that this one is very solid for those of you listening now. And that, my darling, is your reading for number two. Don't forget to stay to the end if you would like an opportunity to win a one-on-one -on -one reading with me. The truth will set you free. Number three, my darling. This energy is all about ex exposure. Everything that has been locked down is coming up and it is such a blessing and it's such a beautiful feeling when you don't have to keep your mouth closed and walk on eggshells and 
all those things and watching what you say in case you speak someone else's truth if you um you know dob on someone like you know there's nothing worse than having to watch what you say for other people and this is a beautiful energy for you now to say you know what you can say what you want when you want because coming up for you my darling is all the secrets are coming out people are going to speak about their truth so it's going to be common knowledge so you can speak freely because I feel as though this energy is building here and it sort of blocks around here. So it's very hard for you to be around those ones that you love feeling that you can just say what you want when you want and people won't be like, don't say that, don't say that. Or you're walking on eggshells or you're going to upset them. Oh, my gosh. We're all grown-ups, right? Everybody's responsible for their lives and I'll tell you right now it's not cool when someone comes up to you and says oh guess what blah 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 but don't say anything it's too late you already know it and that's a lot of pressure when you're just trying to get through your day and when you're trying to just do life and you've got to think about someone else's secret it is a lot of pressure so spirits here to say the blessings are that people are owning up to their truth and they're not around you and it feels as though there'll be secrets revealed and it actually won't even be as bad as they thought in the first place thank god because sometimes when you hold someone's secret so tightly all of a sudden it becomes your secret all of a sudden you feel as though you've done that or you've felt that or whatever. And it's not you at all, but you've been put in a situation at a predicament. And the blessings that are coming your way, my darling, is freedom. Freedom to speak, freedom to laugh, freedom to dance. Freedom is coming your way. Thank God. Let's get some cards. Ah. <sighs> I need a minute. I don't even smoke cigarettes, but I could have a cigarette right now. Like, this is very, very cool. <laughs> All right. Of course, blossoming abundance. Blossoming. I'm going to pull the second card too. Adjacent possibilities. Possibilities, possibilities, possibilities. Blossoming abundance. Let's go there for a second. For some of you, the three needs to be um, spoken about. This could be between three people. It could be that um, it's been three years, three months, three weeks, three days, three secrets. Like the three is very significant here. And it's like, you know what? We're going to just let you off the hook. You're going to let yourself off the hook. Mate, I'm getting a hot flush right now. <laughs> it's such a relief because this has given me so much stress in my body just to hold down the fort. I don't know that this will make sense to all of you. Don't worry if it doesn't. But um, for those that um, this makes sense to, this is for you, okay? You don't have to hold yourself together for someone else anymore. That's a lot of pressure. It's time for you to be free. It's time for you to have the freedom of your voice, the freedom of your body, the freedom of your mind. Because it's just that abundance that's coming your way. You can see all the blossoming flowers. We're at the start of spring in the Southern Hemisphere, so we're going to see a lot of those. So, so take note of nature. Nature's going to speak with you. You're going to see flowers blooming. You're going to see bees flying, butterflies, dragonflies, all, all those things are happening, but you're going to notice it with clear, fresh eyes. You're looking at things from a different point of view. Um, you're really reevaluating how much you've put yourself on the line for other people. And spirit's coming in to say, oh, it's okay. You can let that go now. It was never yours, but you held on to it like it was. And now the amount of possibilities, the amount of outcomes that can happen from here are endless. A lot of things can change here. A lot of things can happen. It feels external though. Not so much for you, for the situation. The, the people that are involved with these secrets. It's not so much you. So. 
if you look at this card, have a look at the bottom. The, there's a door that even goes through the floor. A window even. And see, that's where you've been hiding under the whole situation. And now it's open. You can now come out. You can now speak. You can now do all those things. But you know what? You can't even be bothered. It's, it's not like you want to. It's like the fact that you can is enough. The fact that you can is enough. This is very healing for you. A very healing time. Because um, the stress of the pressure was, was not great. And if this isn't a secret for some of you, it's just a knowing something, knowing something. But I do feel like it's um, a secret, like we don't talk about it. Let's get some more cards. All right. We've got mother, wife, sister, daughter. And this is not gender specific. This is just there's so many things that you are to so many people. Okay. And um, you've really been people's confidants. They're healers. Uh, people come to you and just bleh, dump on you. You're quite the empath. Oh, my Lord. The freedom that you seek is here. The freedom. That's that's the real theme of this reading. Spirit's showing me to show you that there's ways you're just getting out of feeling like you're everybody's everything. You're you're going to choose where you show up now. You're going to choose who you spend your time with. You're going to choose how long for. And how's this? You can even choose the topics. You know, and I say this, I've said this many times, my grandmother, beautiful soul, rest her soul, um, nearing the end of her life, um, she had a lot of aches and pains and, and that type of thing. So I would go and visit her once a week for one hour. And I would go there for half an hour and let her whinge about everything she would tell me that she'd have pressure behind her eyes she'd have a headache she had aches and pains and everything and i gave her a half an hour of space i would just listen and i would hear her and then at the half an hour mark i would turn music on and we would sing and we sung for another half an hour we'd dance we'd laugh so choose who you're spending your time with and choose how you're spending your time. Otherwise, you're going to feel depleted and just the empath that you are. It's almost like, you know, the vision they're giving me is like a sponge. You're like a sponge. People come to you and you've just got more, more, more. And I just want to wring you out and let all the darkness float away and you just be vibrant again and fresh. And that's what's happening in this energy because all the stuff that you've got in your filing cabinets in your mind for everybody else, is now just it's like the floodgates they've just it's just released you don't have to think too hard about keeping all of that information anymore you can just let it go and when you are with people that you want to be with because you love them schedule the visit on your terms let them speak don't let them speak but don't try to change them don't try to change them just let them be them and you be in their space on your terms whether it be 30 minutes once a week, whether it be two hours once a month. And then you just know. Because sometimes people in your life, they may not show up the way you want them to. They might be drainers. They might be annoying. They might be winters. But you love them, right? So why don't you just schedule a time when you'll see them in their space and then you get them together in your life without having to be too frustrated to try and change them. Make sense? let it go just let it go <laughs> you can't make this shit up it's so much pressure that you've put on yourself to be everything for everyone and when you take that pressure off you you can just be you and you can still have them in your life on your terms when your phone rings you actually don't have to answer it there's a message bank for a reason and you can even listen to the message and see what the message is to see if you can be bothered with that conversation. And when you've got the strength and the space, bring them back. Or you can just text and say, 
I'm busy at the moment. I'll get back to you tomorrow. Oh my Lord, tomorrow. That's a whole day away. You can do this because your boundaries have been murky and spirits coming in to say, I'm giving you uh, the love, the support to be able to start setting yourself up so that you, my friend, have the adjacent possibilities, that you have the blossoming abundance because the nature, nature is talking to you. Take note of what you see, what shows up for you. And there will be repetitive things like, you know, something like a feather dropping on your head every day for three days. Something ridiculous because <laughs> your spirit team is here trying to get your attention. But because you've been so, some of you to the point of debilitation in other people's shit when it's not even your own, they're coming out to show you that you've got the support, the fresh air, a new season, and it's time for you to blossom with the trees, with the flowers. And that, my darling, is your reading for number three. Thank you so much for tuning in, my beautiful souls. Please feel free to comment if you'd like to go into my draw for September. We're nearly at the end of September. Can you believe it? Um, so for your opportunity to win a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, I would like you to share with me the most beautiful thing about spring in the Southern Hemisphere. What's the opposite? It would have to be fall, wouldn't it? Is that right? Fall, autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. So the season we're in now, what's your favourite thing about it? Pop it in the description because I love nature and I know nature loves you. My name is Connie Rose, Voice of Spirit. Thank you very much for tuning in. Be kind to you those around you, but especially be kind to yourself. Peace out.